Millions of people around the world take antiretroviral medicines to treat HIV infections. It's vital that they all take their medicines regularly. Sometimes it is difficult, because people can't always get hold of treatment when they need it. But if they don't take it regularly, the HIV virus can become resistant. This means that the most effective and affordable medicines we have can stop working because the virus stops responding to the treatment. As a consequence, people have to switch to different drugs, which may be harder to obtain or more expensive or which may have more side effects. Lack of action to prevent, monitor and respond to HIV drug resistance can block the world from meeting the 95-95-95 target to ensure that 95% of people receiving HIV treatment achieve suppression of the virus in their blood by 2030. The level of resistance to commonly used drugs such as navirapine and efavirenz are high and continue to increase. In most countries surveyed by the World Health Organization, drug-resistant virus was a problem for over 10% of the people starting HIV treatment with these drugs. This means that 1 in 10 people may be infected with a virus resistant to the treatment they are starting. As a result, many people find that their HIV medicines aren't working due to resistance. To overcome resistance, people must use new and more effective drugs, and we must make every possible effort to preserve their effectiveness as long as possible. I'm a person who has lived with HIV since 1994. That's when I tested and got to know my status. And then I started my treatment in 1998. But because of challenges, I quickly had HIV drug resistance. As a minor, Kigungu cannot collect his own medicines. His grandmother often failed to get them on time, resulting in poor adherence to treatment. He developed HIV drug resistance. Kigungu now needs third-line treatment due to HIV drug resistance. The World Health Organization Global Action Plan provides a framework for action for all stakeholders to monitor, prevent and respond to HIV drug resistance. This includes five areas for joint action by global partners. Improving prevention and response. Ensuring monitoring and surveillance. Supporting research and innovation. Strengthening laboratory capacity. And reinforcing governance and enabling mechanisms. If we don't look for resistance, we will not find it. If we find it, but we don't act upon the finding by uh, fixing the root causes that generated resistance and by preventing its spread, we will be accounted responsible. We can only end AIDS if we also end HIV drug resistance. Funds addressing the HIV epidemic need to be spent in a responsible, effective and sustainable manner. The need to support the development and implementation of national HIV drug resistance strategies is a core component of HIV treatment programs. The World Health Organization's reports, guidelines and global action plan show that HIV drug resistance is a serious threat. We must act now to prevent further emergence of resistance. This can be done by improving the quality in the delivery of HIV medicines. This combined with the introduction of new, safe and effective medicines for HIV can help us curb HIV drug resistance and achieve the global targets to end AIDS and save lives.